there are an estimated 18.9 million new cases of sexually transmitted infections each year in the United States. Human papillomavirus, HPV, accounts for about 5.5 million of these new cases. HPV can cause cervical cancer in women, as well as oral and anal cancer in both sexes. An estimated 90% of people who are infected do not show any symptoms. The best way to diagnose HPV in women is with an annual pap smear. Certain HPV types are significantly linked to the development of cervical cancer. 40% of women who are infected with type 16 or 18 will progress to precancerous or cancerous lesions within a two-year period. Early intervention can prevent the development of full-blown cervical cancer. Prevention is key in reducing HPV. The HPV vaccine is a three-shot series targeted primarily at young women 13 to 26. Studies on the HPV vaccine have shown it to be highly safe and highly effective in preventing acquisition of human papillomavirus. And yet it is estimated that less than 50 percent of young women have received the HPV vaccine. The Siteman Cancer Center at Barnes Jewish Hospital and Washington University School of Medicine has been investigating why vaccination rates are low, specifically in the African American community. The Siteman Cancer Center is really dedicated towards understanding cancer disparities within the St. Louis region. Our research indicates that a lack of knowledge could be a barrier to people getting vaccinated. We're trying to look at some possible interventions that give people the tools they're going to be able to need in order to make informed decisions. Now that we have a safe and effective vaccine and better diagnostic methods and better treatments, cervical cancer should be uh, a disease that we can uh, prevent and should become a very rare disease in the future.